What's happening, everyone? Welcome to Real Breaks. My name is Tom Kolcheski. Happy you're here with me today. We have Topps Chrome. If you know our breaks, I got two Ks in front of me. We're only breaking one. So I need you, as in anyone, do the honors. Top or bottom, which case we're going to go with? A crazy day here. Jonathan Kent's getting nightmares. What's happening, Steven? Good to see you back. Steven's one of the OG real breaks. Chris Young picks bottom. Chris Young picks bottom. Tops for another day. Let me fix something here. Titus. Oh, Titus. Yeah, Titus did a nice job yesterday. I told Ryan. I said, Ryan, just, just be quiet. Let him go. All right, here we go. 19 tops chrome. Ah, hold on, hold on. I don't like this focus. 19 tops chrome hobby. I've done some hobby, but it's all the national where I had Shane rip all the packs. So, this will be the first time I've actually had to rip hobby packs. We got fuzzy video. Let me get rid of that. There we go. Much better, right? What's happening, Lou? Did Titus call him out? He should have. I would have kicked him out of the room. Like, Ryan, just, uh, just be quiet. But you know what? I don't want to... I know I'm going to get a bunch of eye rolls when I say this, but it's not that easy. Especially the... You're kind of like, did I pronounce it? Or if you make a joke, do people even laugh? Now, I don't even care anymore, right? If I make a joke and it falls flat, I'm like, whatever. But for a while, and you don't want to drop any cards, all that fun stuff. But I don't want to say, it, I say it's not that easy, but it's not that hard. It's really not that hard. I mean, if Ryan can do it, Christ, it can't be that hard. It's fun, though. I wonder if Titus's hands are sore today. If he's in a mid-season form for breaks. That's what we should ask him. Tell you what, I miss Shane right now, and Shane is helping me out big time the National Rip and Packs. So the way we'll do it, if you uh, are just want to watch the packs, we'll rip, we'll open the whole box. Oh, the workplace hazard, Garrett, the paper cuts, oh man. The knife cuts hazard. <laughs> if a tree falls in the forest and nobody is there to hear it, yes. And that means it didn't fall. Well, the NBA release is scheduled today. Check out the box. So I know a lot of people like to... Uh, just fast forward, they don't like to see all the pack ripping. So we'll do 12 pack ripping sessions, if you will. I've thought about ripping all the boxes at the beginning and then going through it, but that'd get kind of boring. Oh, I should have taken an Advil on my, my elbow. 
Archive, yeah, I saw archive checklist out. How's it look? I didn't look at it. I downloaded it. I gotta go through a bunch of checklists uh, tomorrow. Here we go. Oh, right away, Borky. Borky, Borky. For the Jays, first hit. Right team, wrong guy. I'll tell you that much. Jerry Snell. Is <laughs> Zion? Are you surprised? NBA. Little Tatis. So there's a question on our. Uh, if you're on our BGS page, um, there's a post today. We'll get in the post today a little bit, but um, it was about does BGS or PSA grade these? You know the four rookies. We all know they're a little bit smaller. And uh, there's a gentleman that responded to that question in the post, um, saying yes, that, it, that BG BGS is aware and grades it based on um, how they are. And uh, so if you're interested, and uh, I had two people message me. They're like, well, how does that guy know? Well, believe it or not, we have people, we have a, people who work for Beckett that are in our groups. And so it is interesting. You got it right from the source. But we've had a lot of, uh, there you go. We saw our friend Eric Norton from Beckett Fat Packs made a post today. It was really cool. Uh, nominated Real Breaks as a. Uh, there's a group called the, uh, Beckett has what they call the Industry Summit. Typically it's in February. This year they moved it back to September, which I like the move a lot personally. And Real Breaks was nominated. They have a new category. They always do like Card of the Year, Product of the Year. They do uh, Breaker of the Year. So we were nominated for that, which is really cool. It's kind of kind of weird, you know, it, I don't know. De Los Santos. I'm not a real big award person. I was an offensive lineman in high school. Kind of had that mentality. But, um, you know, it's nice. It actually, I was thinking, I've thought a lot about it today. And why do I think it's cool, right? Well, one of the reasons it's neat is it's all, you hear a lot of people talk about allocations, allocations. There's a lot of things that go into allocations. Um, but one of the things the wholesalers and companies they want to be associated with um, good breakers or good hobby shops so even being nominated for award like that really helps be able to get different product be able to get new opportunities you know i'm looking forward to if you guys remember we went to the, there was a tops conference ryan and i went to and uh, we got all kinds of prizes we got all we you know use all our giveaways that we got to uh to do you know, different prizes for the group. So that was kind of fun. It was really fun. So fun to do opportunities like that. So we're going to try to do, actually, try to do more, more fun giveaway stuff. Not, not in this break. Some of the later breaks tonight, so you know, if you're, if you're watching and you're not in, we'll, we'll give some random stuff away. If I can find it. That's a whole other question. Box two. So, does anyone live in Vegas? I've never been to Vegas. I'm actually excited to go uh, just to go to Vegas. I've never been. The conference starts on Sunday. So, they have golf on Sunday, right? I want to get there Saturday and Sunday. I just want to <laughs> I just want to go to a sports book. <laughs> Ryan's like, he's like, let's golf on Sunday. I'm like, let's golf. I'm like, I'm gambling on the Bears. Forget you. You and your golf. I'm going all in on Trubisky. So if you're in Vegas in a couple weeks, I think it's like four or five weeks, come hang out. Come hang out with Ryan so I don't have to. That's what I'm really saying. You could, uh, if you could come occupy Ryan for a while, so I don't got to entertain him. That would be good. Well. Our case hit. <laughs> Here we go. I'll do the case hit first. It's a cool one. Pudgy. 
Von Rodriguez, uh, one per case, their, their um, game used memorabilia, and it's a uh, rookie debut. So he debuted with the Rangers. Go, he played some other teams. Michael Leaf, nice hit. We had a gentleman message me today. There's a DD Agorius we hit in a break, and uh, he had the Yankees. And he said, hey, Tommy, you, you screwed up. Well, DD, his debut is with the D backs. You gotta remember that. Pudge is kind of associated with the Rangers. Chris Shaw, last team taken. G Men, it's a refractor to $4.99. <clears throat> so nice. We have uh, got three breaks full tonight. A little Synagard purple. I'll put a pole up there for the fourth one. Optic could have some lot of check. Uh, no Cubs yet. We got the Super Fractor coming up with the Cubs. Yeah, Kevin got the Cubs. He was gracious enough to uh, give him to another Cub fan. What Kevin? It's probably like 2 a.m. in your your uh, Germany, in your Germany. It's been interesting the last year. We've you guys would be surprised. In most breaks, there's at least one international person. We don't always call them out. Brad Keller, Royale. Ginterex. <laughs> Did you add a Ginter X poll? <laughs> if you did, I don't have any. How about that Ginter X the other day? I sorted that today. That's pretty crazy. Oh boy. Now I gotta now I gotta delete your uh If Gendrax win, we ain't doing it. So it's a close race between Optic and Bowman Mixer. <laughs> yeah, it's because I forgot to uh, change it. Move, move option. I don't have Gintrax. I posted the poll, but when you post a poll, you can, uh, there's an option to allow others to, uh, to add choices in, typically I'm smart enough to, uh, to do that. Optic is cool, but apparently I wasn't. Really Shane, what are you breaking tomorrow? Shane's up tomorrow. Shane's been crushing it on Tuesday. Shane's up Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday's going to be a crazy place. We got Bowman Sterling in unparalleled football releases and Heritage High Number. So it's three pretty good sized releases. Bowman Sterling, I'm interested to see that product. All right, yeah. Shane, I was just saying I miss you. Uh, in the national, you bailed me out and did open all these. <clears throat> unparalleled, yeah, I love unparalleled. I was telling Ryan about unparalleled today, and I was getting all excited. And he's, you know, what he says, he's like, I never heard of it. <laughs> like, ah, oh, all right. Hobbs Chrome, Finest, and Techie Techie. Sweet. Couple hot products. Oh, yeah, I think Ryan said he sent you Jumbo. So Shane will have Jumbo tomorrow. That's why I went, I went Hobby tonight. You're doing Jumbo tomorrow. Here we go. Box three. Time for the big hitters, huh?
it was really interesting with the national talking to other breakers, and some of them swear they swear up and down. They're like, "Hobby is where it's at. Hobby is where it's at." And others, us would be like, "Jumbo's where it's at." Well, who knows, Phil Meyer? But so far, we're we need some bigger hits. Oh, there's a million parallels and unparalleled. It's kind of a funny name, unparalleled. Those should be called parallels. Time for a nice big orange auto, huh? Spice up the night. Or Super Fractor. Last time we did a case of this, uh, this Jumbo, we hit a Posey Super Fractor. That was cool. Ship that out today. I think Andy's in Andy's in this break. Lewis Brinson. Miami. Former Brewer Brinson. Ooh. We got orange. I was saying we got a big orange auto. Taylor Ward. There you go. Love the orange ink and chrome. Yeah, Chris Young. Orange ink goes in the stand, huh? Box four. Scott, you're messing them up. You're posting, uh, you're adding Ginter to the poll. <laughs> Donner's football. Donner's football is very good to you. I like Donner's football. Now, I have another case, so I'm going to use it for it. I think it's great for mixers. I think Donner's football is a, a low cost, rides a lot of hits, a lot of parallels. <laughs> I hear you, Scott. One time I forget to check it so you can other people can add. <clears throat> Box four. I'm feeling I'm feeling a nice uh, Tatis color. Have you guys seen what Tatis autos are selling for? They're selling for his base auto is selling for almost two hundred bucks today. Pretty crazy. I think this nineteen tops chrome in the months ahead is really going to go up in price. So if I had an extra couple hundred thousand, I would put it all in tops chrome. Anyone do anything fun today? Work day Monday. I sorted cards all day. I shipped a bunch today too. A lot of my breaks from Saturday shipped. Ones that didn't ship today go out uh, next two days. I like to get everything shipped by Wednesday because that's when uh, new release. So if you're in this break, expect no later than shipped on Wednesday. If I don't hit that, I mean, I got sick or broke my arm or something. Let's not do that. Box four, let's go. Ooh, Hunter Dozier. Go Royals orange. Orangey. Traditionally, orange is a hobby exclusive color. This year we are hitting a few orange and jumbo, but not with a regularity as hobby. We got Vladdy, we got that sleeved up. David Fletcher, more angels. Tatis refractor, that's good. Fun. We 
You know, traditionally, Chrome is kind of led by like one or two big rookies. This year, you got a handful. Jameson Italian, purple. One card looked like a super fractor. I can tell you it wasn't. These prisms have a super fractor look. This is gold. Oh, we'll random this at the end of the break. Cardinals and Nationals. Gold out of 50. Gonzales. Twinkies for Jesse. Jesse hasn't paid yet, so maybe this goes to my PC. I rarely do a break without everyone paying. But your $25 twins take my chances. I did get scammed recently, though. Pete Alonzo. Two weeks ago, we did a break, and the guy, uh, what do you say? He said, oh, I'm on a flight. I'll pay you when I get off. We got like two or three spots. Lesson learned. Kevin, are you saying I passed the Super Fractor? Right. You know what? I have nothing to hide. We'll take... If Kevin thinks we passed the Super Fractor, this is from the last box. It's kind of a bold accusation to make, to be honest. But... Pretty impossible to pass a super fractor in this stuff. So there you go, Kevin. We're going through the last two boxes to satisfy your. Uh, Thought of a super fractor. Some weird card. Well, I don't know. I'd be careful accusing the passing a super fractor. That's just me. So, listen to this. So yesterday, yesterday we went to this family picnic, right? We were in the town of Belleville, Wisconsin. You guys will love this story. And I told the story the other day. Um, my, I got time. We're ripping hobby. So, my dad has two brothers. He has two younger brothers. His, uh, my dad's name is Al, and my one of my my uncles is my uncle George. Yeah, George and Paul, right? So George lives south of Madison, Wisconsin. It's happening, Jeff. And um, uh, so, twenty-seven years ago, should back like thirty-five years ago, my uncle George, he was married. He was in the Navy. Married a woman from Japan named Kumi. They adopted a daughter, a little girl, in uh, in America. And uh, named Angela, right? So when Angela was like three, they went back to Japan, visit friends, family, yada, yada. When Angela was seven and a half, so 37 and a half years ago, Angela and her mom went to Japan to visit and never came back. Sent my uncle a letter saying, uh, basically, I have our daughter, I don't want to see you, yada, yada, yada. So, so my uncle... Hired investigator, spent a ton of money, never could find her. About like four or five years ago, he gets a call in the middle of the night. It was my cousin, right? So, 
So they've been in touch. My uncle's gone over there a couple times um, to visit with her and help her out on some things. It's still his daughter. And uh, so anyway, she uh, she came to the U.S. To, for the first time since she was a kid. And we got red. Hold on, I'll finish my story after this nasty red. Red waves. Suarez. Nice. Number one out of five. Red wave. For Jeff. And they said, Jeff? Look at you. Switch into the reds. Hit it red for reds. Nice. So, uh, so anyway, so we went to this town picnic yesterday. It's like an hour and a half for me. And uh, to meet her. To see her again. Uh, it was really cool. So she's married. Her husband's really nice. They barely speak any English. Ponce de Leon. And they have a really cute three-year-old son. It's cool to meet him. So, so we, you know, we met. It was a community picnic type of deal. It was perfect. They had a petting zoo. Oh, hold the horses! Woohoo! Vladdy! Nice hit, Jerry. Vladdy blue waved a 150. Oh, baby. That, that auto's good auto, too. Five to one fifty. Woo! That's what we're talking about. Break out the mitt. Break out the mitt. What a box. So anyway, so we go to this picnic. We meet them, and they have a petting zoo at the picnic, right? This is cool. So my kids, you know, playing animals. But they had this tent, maybe a 12 by 12, and uh, they had this game, all right? So here's, a, here's the thing. It was like a big circle table, and there was a bunch of nails on the outside, and they had like little holes. Uh, there were little gaps between the nails, and they were numbered 1 through 48, right? In the middle of the table, they would set two turtles, <laughs> and then... <laughs> They would set two turtles, and then they would, like, touch the turtles, and then the turtles would go to the side of the table, and, uh, and whatever hole they went through, the turtle won. <laughs> Colby Aller for the Braves. So the way it worked, you, you paid a quarter, and you got six numbers for a quarter. And if you won, you got a dollar. <laughs> so, so we're sitting around our kids gambling on turtle races. Hanging out with my, I'm thinking about this, this is my cousin, been in Japan for the last 27 years, and her husband, they're probably like, what on earth is going on in America? <laughs> so if you're interested in uh, turtle gambling, it's not really races, it's like turtle roulette, maybe. I took some pictures, I took pictures of the rules, it's fascinating. They even talk about how they give the turtles a rest. <laughs> the only surprise of it frankly, in Wisconsin, that it didn't involve alcohol. But I'm sure they, someone will find a way. Anyway, that was, my, that was my Sunday. It was a great day. A really cute picture on my personal page of our son. My sister took it. It was nice. My dad came up. My sister, her son, my brother. I don't know. But yeah, my cousin brought all this Japanese candy back. <sighs> Turtle betting is a slipper. It's kind of the gateway of gambling, to be honest with you, boy. It was really cool, though. I'd go back next year. Bullet is the Milwaukee Police Department. They're probably cracking down on a uh, turtle, turtle betting. Some cities have uh, chicken fighting rings. Yeah, the cow, the cow is pretty popular here. Cow pie bingo, we we'll call it. But you get, you get these like. You know, they're like paint stir sticks. They have numbers. And you're holding them on. It's 
funny. My daughter, like, you know, she miss, loses by one and she gets all mad. <laughs> How about that Vlad auto? That's a monstrous auto. See, uh, I saw a line today a Vlad Gold BGS 1010 sold for like 2500 bucks. Like, whoa. Gold, it was a gold wave, actually. So. Oh, redemption. Ooh, purple. Chris Paddock. The Orioles. Orioles are underpriced. Or not Orioles. Padres. Did I say, why did I say Orioles? Padres for Jeremy. Nice hit, buddy. Pit, Chris Paddock Purple. Say that ten times fast. Paddock Purple Parallel. T space. Showtime. One of the things I like about this, the big rookie autos are not redemptions. I mean, the Paddock's a great, he's a great pitcher. Perez. Rose, Jonathan Kent. Got our two autos right away. Correa purple. Purple vein. <laughs> Correa. TRTF. <laughs> Operation Teenage Mutant. <laughs> Absolutely bullet. And there's some. The best thing about the purple the turtle thing was it was run by kids. <laughs> like all the, the operators were like these uh, I felt it was like a mob mob boss kids. Altuve negative. They're not negatives are non numbered. And they're not a reverse. Three autos in a box. Ryan O'Hare. There we go. Well, let's take that. I'd like to see that more. Is that anytime there's a redemption, you get an extra auto. Kind of wondering how we got them so quick there. Got to keep an eye out for some photo bears. Halfway home. Nice autos highlighted by that Vladdy. <clears throat> How's our poll doing? We have a pull up. It's our fourth and final. Probably only doing four tonight. I'd like to get, get a head start on all the sorting. Bowman mixer. I kind of figured Bowman mixer would take it. Tucker Auto? Yeah, let's do it. How about Tucker Red Auto? Let's get greedy. How did you guys like, uh, anyone watch that Chronicles last night? Chronicles Basketball Titus did? Eyes. Let's call this light down a little. Seven, let's do it. What's happening, Al? Was there anything in OKC? 
My neighbor is in Oklahoma City last week. Said, how was it? Said, it's hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can't believe it. We went on family vacation. Were you, like, hiding out, watching the break? <laughs> hot. It's nice today. Today, Wisconsin is one of those days. You can go jeans if you want to. You can do shorts. Probably a short sleeve shirt. Not really a long sleeve shirt type of day. Pretty much ideal. Wisconsin in the summer, fall is great. Wisconsin in the winter is no fun. So we get a lot of tourists up here in the summer. One oh eight, yeah, caramba! It was like seventy two today. Perfect. Garcia, the birds for Louis, my friend Scott Isher. Time for some more color parallels, autos. That is. Birdie, Nick Birdie, little Birdie. So we talked about it a little bit earlier, but I go back. Um, I know, Al, I know. Um, so our friend Eric from uh, Beckett Fat Packs made a little post, which is pretty cool. They have um, the industry summits coming up in uh, just over a month, five weeks, and in Kimber. And they have uh, different awards, you know, product of the year, customer service of the year from like a manufacturer. I like, I think it's cool they do that award. And they added a new one this year, breaker of the year. So that is, uh, so it's the first time they've done the award. I thought that was pretty cool. They included real breaks in that. It was very nice. So, So if you like us, go vote for us. If you don't like us, don't vote. Just don't vote. <laughs> I'm kidding. Vote for whoever you want. But uh, the other ones on there, they're all they're very legit. People I know a little bit on some of them. I admire um, all of them quite a bit. There's some other breakers I admire a lot too. There's one breaker I thought should have been for sure been on there. But, yeah, what do you do, right? And if we weren't on there, I wouldn't have. I would have been like, oh, that's too bad. Maybe next year. <clears throat> but, but anyway, it's always kind of cool. Like, as we meet, the thing is, when you meet with wholesalers and card companies, even though wholesalers, they see what you're doing, they don't really, a lot of them are older and they have no idea what breaks are. you like, <laughs> there's one we met with, one of our bigger ones, and actually our number one wholesaler, I was talking to the national, not my sales rep, but one of the bosses. He goes to me, he goes, Tom, he's like, I don't even understand what a break is. I'm like, what? You sell millions of dollars to breakers. He's, he's like, I have no, I really don't understand what a break is. So, the guy has worked in the industry for like 25, 30 years. I'd explain how a break works. So, so that's why, to me, it's kind of cool to be um, to be on that that discussion. You know, to be nominated. Uh, it'd be really cool to win, but uh, just to be nominated to so like wholesalers and card manufacturers, they look at you as like, oh. When we say we're Facebook exclusive, a lot of um, people that don't understand our group, they they kind of give you a, like kind of the stink eye, like what? That's what my grandma uses. I don't know. But I like it. I like the community aspect a lot. So anyway, so there you go. So we got uh, what do we got? Box nine, eight. Box eight. Eight is going to be great. The Vladdy base. 
Corbin, Patrick Corbin. Matt Knowles. Bryce, Bryce Wilson, Atlanta. I almost said Milwaukee Braves. Hot Atlanta. Okay, it went in Atlanta today. I'm curious how how hot is it in Hot Atlanta today? But it ain't 70. Buckets of cards. Love this year's design. Chrome's nice. And, uh, this guy stopped by our house today I was talking to. They know I like baseball cards. I don't think they really understand everything. I know they don't. Dakota Hudson. He, uh, he told me, he goes, yeah, my, uh, we went to Target. My son bought a, a $20 box of this Topps Chrome product. Have you ever heard of that? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, a little bit. I'm like, it's fun. Never heard of it. Petey. I like how his base is Pete and his auto is Peter. Riddle me that one. Riddle me that one, Jeff Haynes. This is the same guy that stopped over a couple weeks ago. He was really excited to show me his cards. I think the best card in there was like 87 Tops Paul Molitor. So it was like folded in half. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you guys like that. Oh yeah, I've been to baseball cards. Oh yeah, I got some. They're mint. Mint condition. Haven't, haven't taken them out of the rubber band in years. <laughs> Box nine. Folded mint. <laughs> we had some friends the other day. And my wife's like, what are you thinking about? Because I just... She knew I was annoyed, right? And I said, honestly, I'm just thinking about what I would give to have one person in this group of 12 people have a half a clue about baseball cards so I could discuss so I could actually carry a conversation with someone. <laughs> uh, they're all talking about their stuff. And I'm like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, baseball, the baseball guy exchange are good guys. Some of those guys are on our page. It's really interesting how uh, different in the hobby, you know, baseball card exchange, they're like the leader. They are the leader, not even close, about authenticating sealed boxes of wax. So it's interesting how they've carved out that niche. You know, if you're, you're going to buy a box of 72 tops, yeah, that's what I do, Michael. I just eat. I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to eat. I don't really drink much, so I can't do that. I just think about, hmm, I wonder if Jordan's going to be an update, which I'll, well, I know the answer to that, but hold on, we got Gold Wave for the little D-backs. Oh yeah, Tyson, you can lose, yeah, believe me, I know that, Mike. 
That's a gold wave. Yeah, there's so many different products. So when you get a hand... Oh, gold ink. There you go, Louie. 20 to 50, Dakota Hudson. Scott Isher. Yeah, a lot of different products. Well, I tell people, watch a couple cases of the, a product before you decide if you like it or not. Watch mine, not Ryan's, though. Just kidding, just kidding. And then you, uh, you know, there's always that. <laughs> yeah, there's always that awkward account, you know, because if you figure, so it's like 8 o'clock, and you know you're going to be with these people until like 11 or 12, right? So your whole night. And it, you, like, finally get up the nerve of saying, you're, you're just taking a shot in the dark, right? Eloy. You're like, hey, you start out, you start out like, you guys like sports, right? That's how you always start. Because if they say no, you're like, what's wrong with you, right? And uh, so around here, you, you guys like sports? And they'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you know, uh, I like the Brewers. Patrick Wisdom, right? So then, so that's kind of how you break down. It's like, it's like when you're 19, you're meeting a girl for the first time, right? And you're like, you want to ask them if they like baseball cards, but you're too nervous to ask, right? So you're like, hey, you guys like sports? Oops, there you go, throwing base around. Joey Packard. And then, then it leads into that, you know? And then, uh, then you're like, yeah, you guys, uh, you guys go to games, right? Yeah, yeah. We, and then, then there'll always be that one guy, like, oh, yeah, I went, to, I went to a Badger game 15 years ago. It was fun. You're like, all right, this guy's hopeless, right? And then you, you find that random guy and the, that may be, like, kind of interest. Like, you know, I, I watch sports a lot. And you're like, all right. Like, and then you kind of go for the kill, right? You, got, you go for that. Do I got a friend or not? You're like, uh. You guys buy baseball cards? <laughs> and you're praying. Praying someone says yes. And you're fine, actually. So you, you'll either get the, the weird stink eye, or you'll get the guy that wants to give you a hug and become your best friend, because he wanted to ask you the same thing, right? But, the, but mostly, you get a... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I got some, yeah. And then, and then you just eat, you know. But there's been a couple situations you get, and they'll be like, uh, like "Oh yeah, I, I I love baseball cards," and you're like, "Really?" That's when you win, and that's when if we're at our house, I bring them to the basement, and it's all over. <laughs> it's all life is. I go, "Yeah, yeah." Um, I decorate my walls with cases of baseball cards. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that, right? Uh, yeah, Louie got a uh, Dakota Hudson Gold at a 50. In the same box, he got a Wisdom Auto. And uh, right before that, you got a Hudson Base. You've got the last three autos there, Scott. I've known Scott since uh, kindergarten. We're friends in kindergarten. No one's following my friendship conversation. You guys are like, Tom, you're nuts. You're out there. Box 10. Yeah. So, oh, Tyson, go back to that. Jordan is not an update. He may have, like, he does not have a rookie card in update. He may have, like, a debut card, or they call it a card call-up. What's up, Chuck? So you're talking to the uh, the baseball card guys at Panini. They say that's actually determined by the Major League Baseball Players Association. The Players Association made the determination that neither Panini nor Topps could make any card with a rookie card logo. That rookie card logo. They cannot put Jordan in it in 2019. So he is going to be in everything in 2020. So they have a, what they call a call-up card. So I thought that was interesting. I heard uh, Panini folks were telling us one night. I, I thought, I guess I assumed, you know, D-backs. How about the D-backs $10 spot? You got a Lamb 
Gold Wave, and they do Planter Ink. You know, I just kind of assumed Tops and Panini were in cahoots. They said it's actually dictated by the Player Association. There's a lot of stuff dictated by the Player Association. Ryan O'Hare, it is crazy. They're worried, you know, they have so, there's so many good rookies this year. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like this kid. Tatis Prism. That's awesome. That's a stand-worthy card. It's actually a big card. Um, they figure they got enough good rookies, and uh, they want to save it. Save some. Tatis Space. So. <laughs> exactly what two companies they'd say hey you want a sandbag Jordan we'll do it if you do who is the rookie card who's the true rookie card in update well that's a great question you know um there's always a debate, like on Tatis, is his true rookie card update, or is it Chrome? I don't know. You know, a lot of people, the Acuna update goes for crazy money, and the Chrome update goes, or the Chrome card goes for somewhat. Trevor Richards? Kesson Hira? He'd be a true rookie. Uh, no, Max, they said there is not a cutoff date. It's, a determin it's just a determination by the Players Association. They, they can make the determination however they feel fit. Because Jordan has been called up a while ago. There'll be players with um, rookie cards and update that were called up much later than uh, Jordan. True rookie card is first Bowman. Yeah, some people think that. Some people like their first Chrome rookie with the rookie card logo. Some people like the first paper. 50% off 18. There you go, Tyson. Um, bullet. Uh, Tucker was called up last year. But Tucker was a late call up last year. He struggled. But yes. Yeah, so Tucker is a rookie and everything, but uh, hasn't played a game in 2019. But Jordan's crushing it, but uh, he's not a rookie. You are correct. You got Scotty. Box 11 cruising right along. After this break, I'll where you have a baseball mixer. I gotta check payments, do the random four, and then post our fourth break. And it uh, goes by the poll. So Bowman was top. Um, let's see what we got. Let's see where we're at. Blaze Jordan. Who's Blaze Jordan? What sport, Jeremy? Baseball? Pablo Lopez, Refractor, Marlins Auto. Fish. Marlins have a lot of autos. If you want to get the low-cost team with the most autos, Miami Marlins. Corey Seegs. Siegler Blue. What would Tucker true rookie card be? Wasn't he in um, Series 1 or Series 2? I would say that or this. But it's 
It's a debate. It's a never-ending debate. Cunha Prism. Let's leave him up. No raise? Um, I'm a bad person. Bowman Chrome. Who's going to be the big first Bowmans? Um, I don't know. I'm a bad person to get that. Yeah. I'm with Max on that one. If he was Series 1, then it would be that. Soto Photo Variation. Working on that sliding, Let's slide, old spring training slide. Jimenez and Vlad base there. Max would probably have a good educated guess. Bowman Chrome is going to be the top prospects in Bowman Chrome. Nice thing about Bowman Chrome is rookies also. Get a bag of sleeves. Last box. Hello. Max, what show are you doing? Are you doing a show this coming weekend? Isn't Tucker doing pretty well this year in AAA? Trent Grisham, that's your, uh, that's the rookie card I want to chase. I think he may, he may make it in the update. I may go heavy on him. Kesson Hira would be the big one for the Brewers. Update's going to be nuts. Did Max, did that guy ever get back to you? On that message on wax sales. Oh. September. There's no chance I can do Apple. September in Appleton is the uh, industry summit. Max, were you looking at uh, um, were you looking at doing uh, supplies to sell supplies, or were you looking at doing supplies for your own cards? I'm thinking about making a trip once a month to Chicago and loading up my van. Box twelve. Box twelve. Alonzo base. Petey. Ooh, Trevor Richards gold. The Marlins are doing well. I'm not a big DCW fan at all. 
Yeah. Do you think the, the Stroh, it's... And where do you put Tucker? Trade block? You hate to give up a guy like that. Pannon, Pannonio, Thomas, goes well with your uh, Vladdy, you won't trade him, do you got any Duran's uh, Bowman first, Kyle Wright, your last auto for the Braves. Pretty numbered stuff. And that is the break. Recap time. Can you pitch? <laughs> Kyle Wright, can you pitch? Or Kyle Tucker. Here we go. Separate with the sleeved up the Jimenez refractor. The big four Tatis refractor there. All right. Negatives. Altuve, O'Hearn, and Rickard. For your negatives. Case it. Pudgy for the Rangers. With the Gary V set. I like I like the Gary V set. I'm a, I have a bunch. Richards Gold for the Marlins. Soto Nationals Photo Bear. Seeger Blue Dodgers. Jake Lamb Gold Wave. Uh, D backs. Corbin Nationals Green Wave. Birdie Green Wave. Pittsburgh Correa Purple Astros. Ponce de Leon, Blue Wave, Cardinals, Italian, Purple. For the Pirates, Lewis Brinson, Marlins, Blue. Syndergaard, Purple. Hoskins, Green. And Polanco is a negative. We also had uh, Cardinals, Nationals. We'll do that right after uh, the recap. Dozier, Purple. Purple. Orange for the Royals. I don't know how I mix up purple and orange so much. Alright, we'll do uh, auto time. Actually, not auto. First, we have a Prism Tatis. That's an awesome card. And a Red Suarez. Red for Reds. Red Wave on that Suarez. Kyle Wright Braves. Pannone. Blue Jays, De Los Santos, Phillies, Lopez, Marlins, Richards, Marlins, Duplanter, D-backs, Wisdom, Cardinals, Hudson, Cardinals, Wilson, Braves, Kimber, Indians, Garcia, Cardinals, O'Hearn is uh, Royals. Perez, Astros, Paddock, Purple, very nice, for the Padres, Allard, Braves, Gonzalez, Twins, Fletcher, Angels, Philmeyer, Royals, Keller, Royals, Shaw, Giants, De Los Santos, Purple, Phillies, Borky, Blue Jays, and showcase time, Ward, that's a orange out of 25, Dakota Hudson, Ward's the Angels, Dakota Hudson, Gold, Cardinals, the Money Man hit is filthy. Blue Wave, Vladdy. The Blue Jays, obviously. Jerry Snow. That boy, Jerry. But here we go. We're going to do this random. Whoa. The gold random to do. Do it quick.
Cardinals versus Nationals. Go to my computer screen. Cardinal Nats. Cardinals are on top because they're on the left of the card. Four or higher dice roll. Eight. And this is out of 50. It's a cool card. Final one going to the Cardinals for Scott Isher. Congratulations. So there we go. That is the break. And we'll be back. We've got some football coming up in uh, just about 20 minutes. And uh, I'm going to post the winning, uh, the winner of the break or of the uh, poll. So look for that if you're looking to get in more. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.